Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is from Osteradri's Corner and my name is Eradri Gilary. If this is your first time joining us, then you're welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be talking about something a bit interesting. It's going to be a series, not just today. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos telling us about this same thing. So, heads up. Are you a pharmacist? Are you an aspiring pharmacist? Are you a pharmacist in training? Or you just you're looking now to change career paths from where whatever profession and you want to be a pharmacist. So this series that I'm about to start, it's about things that you can do as a pharmacist. So recently I was uh, tired of the cliche. You see, I'm in Nigeria, and um, the most prominent paths that you see pharmacists going to uh, the hospital pharmacy or industry or community pharmacy and government and regulatory roles so i've been telling myself i don't want to go that you know that cliche part so exactly what do i want to do with myself as a pharmacist i do not want to leave the profession either come on there must be something that it's intriguing that will pique my interest so i started doing a research on it and guess what i found over a hundred things that you can do as a pharmacist and this is really interesting okay so i'm going to be stating them categorically i'm just going to be listing them and it's going to be a series for every category it will be a different video so the video is not too long and then i, I don't bore you <laughs> I've, i found out that you could do over a hundred things as a pharmacist so you just have to pick where you where you want to belong and what you want to do and then stick with it and i can assure you that it's really worth it going to that pharmacy school and getting that certificate because just imagine the the options you have to choose from is so broad and it's really interesting if you have anyone in your life like that the category of people i mentioned them please well to share this video because i'm sure there are people out there like me who are not really sure what they want to do or are bored with their career paths and want to try something new and they are pharmacists or they want to be pharmacists or that pharmacists in training and they are asking themselves what do they want to do so for today's video i'm going to be telling you a few roles that a pharmacist can take on as um in the industry so in the industry there are several things you can do you can actually um, go ahead and specialize and come back and do exploit in that part so that like there are over 15 things you can do in the industry as a pharmacist i'm going to be listing them for you so one of them you can be a clinical research associate you can be a forensic scientist you can be a digital therapeutics researcher you can be a marketing and digital strategist you can be a marketing and medical strategist you can be a medical or drug information associate you can go into industrial manufacturing of drugs. You can be a medical science liaison. You can be a medical chemist. Be a pharmaceutical model modeler. It has to do with pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics. We also have the physiologically based pharmacokinetics. And we also have the qualitative system pharmacology modeling. You can be a pharmaceutical sales representative. That one is quite popular. <laughs> you can be a pharmaceutical scientist. You can be a pharmacist clinical pathologist. You can be a pharmacologist. You know the industry really needs a pharmacologist. You can be a pharmacovigilance specialist. You can be a product development specialist. You can be a quality assurance specialist. You can be a quality control specialist. You can be a research specialist. And finally, you can be a toxicology pharmacist. Now, all of this has to do with just the industry. This category I'm talking about is just those that can work in the industry and possible roles you can take up as a pharmacist. So these are the roles I listed earlier. You can go through them again. So you, if you're interested in the industry, then you could look out for it and actually work towards that. And if you're not a pharmacist and you did something like biochemistry or something related to the medical sciences, and you want to actually go into these things, you can actually do a master's um, that qualifies you for these roles in the pharmaceutical industry. So I hope this was helpful. Well, the next time we're talking, we're going to be talking to our tech bros and techies, you know, or everyone that is interested in the IT part of the pharmacy profession. So you can know what roles you can take up as a pharmacist. We talk about job roles available in technology and health, health informatics. I hope this was helpful and in the next video we're going to be talking about that thank you for joining me today do well to share to someone that you know would be interested in this and this would be very helpful for them if you're yet to subscribe please do well to hit the subscribe button and drop the comment below 
of what job role mostly interested you among all these that i mentioned and if you want to check it out you could of course browse the job description for such a person and begin to tailor your cv and get skills that will qualify you for that role thank you very much for joining me today and have a beautiful day